Happy Tuesday, everybody, and uh, no more Monday blues, I hope. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of How To What Is, or Hitui, as we like to call it. iPadOS has been a game changer for iPad, and now Apple has improved it with a couple of more interesting features. This is Ray and Nick from SoyChinchao.com, and today we'll be talking about how to get the most out of your iPad. And iPadOS 14. Let's first start off with Scribble, which is one of my favorite features of the iPad OS 14. Scribble means that you can now write with the Apple Pencil in any text field and the handwriting will automatically convert into text. You can even do this in English and Zhongwen in the same sentence and it will automatically be converted to text. So if you make any mistakes, you can simply scribble out the text like this or you can circle the words selected. You can also draw shapes and the smart selection feature will be able to distinguish handwriting from drawings by using on-device machine learning. This means that you can move handwritten text around to create space for more drawings or vice versa. Meanwhile, when you're drawing simple shapes, they will automatically be converted to the ideal shape. Don't leave the stylus after drawing a shape and you'll get nice, even and perfect shapes. What's also useful is that the iPad now recognizes handwritten phone numbers, dates and addresses. So now you can open them in the relevant apps. Next up, we have Universal Clipboard. So this allows you to copy things such as text, images, or even photos, then paste them onto another Apple device. Each device must be signed into iCloud with the same Apple ID. Your Bluetooth must be on, and the devices must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Along with widgets on iPadOS 14, you also have a new feature called Smart Stack. Basically, this allows you to stack widgets together with on-device intelligence showing you the right widget at the right time based on your usual activity. To set it up, long press on the home screen and once the icon start jiggling about, tap on the plus symbol on the upper left corner of the screen and select Smart Stack. Once you set up your Smart Stack, you can edit them by simply dragging other widgets onto it to create a stack. If you don't want to depend on Apple's intelligent recommendations, long press on the stack tap Edit Stack and turn off Smart Rotate. So the widget displayed will be the last one that you used. Among all of the new features, you might have missed iPadOS 14's hand gestures. So to give you a better understanding of how they work, let's start with some gestures that you can use on your home screen. So you can swipe left or right with four or five fingers to switch apps without needing to enter the multitasking screen, or you can pinch the screen with five fingers to get back to the home screen. If you do not have a physical keyboard, it can be a hassle to type on the Apple's virtual keyboard. But Apple has a simple solution to this. You can actually pull the keyboard apart with your fingers, so those of you with smaller hands will be able to reach the keys easier. You can also pinch the keyboard in to bring up a smaller iPhone-like keyboard where you can swipe to type. You can also cut and paste with a few simple gestures. First, you'll need to select your text and then you can copy it by pinching with three fingers. And if you want to cut it, pinch it again with your three fingers. Paste the text, spread your three fingers like this. Meanwhile, you can also swipe left with three fingers to undo, swipe right with three fingers to redo, or tap on the highlighted text with three fingers to bring up commands so that you can also select copy, paste, cut, or redo from there. Next up, we also have Split View. So Split View allows you to view two apps at the same time. To do that, first you need to open an app, then bring up your iPad to dock by slowly swiping up from the bottom of the screen. Once the dock appears, hold the app that you want it to be on split view, and then drag it over to either the far right or the left side of the screen. The existing app will then scooch over to make room for the new one. You can also drag the divider around to adjust the size of each app. You can also add a third app as a pop-up window, and if you add multiple pop-up windows, swipe up to rearrange or delete them. Meanwhile, you can hide a pop-up window by swiping right from the edge like this, and you can easily bring the window back by swiping left like this. If you want to convert a split window into a floating window, just pull down like this. iPadOS 14 also comes with redesigned sidebars. So in apps like Photos, Notes, Files, Music, and Calendar, you now have a streamlined way to access your files or your photos or anything else. So for example, in the Files app, all you need to do is to click on this icon on the upper left corner and you'll open the sidebar. 
you can also use this to drag and drop certain files so organization is even easier. Plus, you can now also search for apps, contacts, files, or even make web searches with a new universal search. Swipe down on the home screen or press command and spacebar together on an external keyboard. When using the keyboard, you'll be able to search without even leaving the app that is open, although you'll need to exit the home screen if you're using the swipe down method. All right, so that brings us to the end of this episode. If you think we missed out on any tips for iPadOS 14, do leave them in the comment section below. And of course, we're also looking for recommendations on what else to explore in How To What Is. So again, leave it in the comment section below, or you can join us on Facebook and our Facebook group, RKMD. Again, the links will be in the description box below. So that's it from us. And thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to soyachinchao.com for more updates. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.